Welcome back to the studio. I'm working on the chairs today, these wrought iron chairs. And what I did was I had, first of all, I painted in between my drawing. I didn't want to obliterate my sketch. And then I've painted the ocean back behind and I've also painted the seats in. Now I'll show you how I actually do the wrought iron. And this is done with a mixture of mud, which is a combination of the ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson and then I've added liquid into it and it makes just a very thin wash that's easy to pull and I do these while that background is still wet because it's much easier to make the lines very smooth it would be very difficult if that background was dry I couldn't make the lines smooth because I'd be trying to pull over the bumps and the humps in that paint the seats are a mixture of ultramarine blue and dioxanine purple plus white. And now I'm coming back with my ultramarine blue and I just, I've, I've got my sketch there to follow. This is a little confusing in here because of the chair behind and the chair in front, but I'm working on the chair in the background right now. Then I'll work on the chair in the front in a minute. This is, this is a slow slow process. But this kind of shows you exactly how this works. And again, this is my mud. And this makes my wrought iron. And that lower edge of the chair bottom just softens a little bit when I pull it over the paint that's there for the beach and I I don't mind that being soft. Let that edge be soft. And it turns around here and we'll see some of that black back there. And again it's picked up some of the beach paint and it's made that color a little lighter and that's exactly what I want because that'll make it drop that back then behind the table that my wine glasses are on. Go ahead and pull the outer edge of the table. I'll come back later and paint the tile top. But right now I just want to pull, pull my edge of the table. And you have to make a few passes at this to get coverage, get complete coverage. But I'm just following my sketch. foreground. Again, that lower edge gets a little soft, which is fine. I don't mind if that softens into the, into the beach there below. And I clean my brush in between each time because I want this paint to remain dark. little places there I need to just pull my paint from the beach and again because that paint's wet I can come back in and work these edges together. that edge smooth. Like I say, I'll come back later and do the tabletop, but I want to get this edge into that wet paint done while that paint is good and wet. Now I'm going to pull the bottom edge of that other chair. Oh, let me go ahead and do now I'm just pulling the top parts of the legs because I'll have to do the rest of the legs after I do the floor. But I go ahead and, and 
do this while that again while that paint is wet. You kind of have to plan ahead. Be a good good Girl Scout. If you're a guy, then a good Boy Scout. We've got our legs, tops of the legs in there. I'm going to go back to my slightly bigger brush. This again is a bright brush. It's got a square tip. And this is a number six. And this is a Scepter Gold Series 2 brush. I really like these bright brushes. Now I'm going to just brace my hand against the canvas. Yeah, I think it's going to work better if I use my mall stick. I'm using my mall stick. Now this hooks over the top of the easel and I can just rest my hand on that as I make those, those lines. That steadies my hand. And then this leg is going to come like so. And that's okay if it, I'll come back and when I finish the legs after I get the floor done, I'll come back and really finish them out. But I just want to get that pulled into the paint so that I'm not working over the texture of that, that paint. And then this leg is in the background. This is the one behind. So I'm letting it pick up some of the paint underneath and get lighter. and that'll stay light. This one will be darker because it's in the foreground. And then my back leg comes straight down. Front legs are kind of curved and the back legs are straight. We saw these chairs in Bellingraph Gardens. It's near New Orleans. Between New Orleans and Mobile. I guess it's probably closer to Mobile, Alabama. But, oh, beautiful gardens. And when we saw these chairs, I just fell in love with them. They're complicated to paint, but they're beautiful, beautiful chairs, and they make a nice... make for a nice painting. Now, my scroll work here, this is the and it really, you can see it helps having my drawing there. I, I made real, was real careful not to cover my sketch as I painted the water and stuff because it would be hard to draw this accurately without having that sketch to, to work from. Now this is a little smaller. Again, that's that separate gold brush. This is a number four, and again, it's got the square tip. But this makes it very easy to pull these lines. And using the mall stick keeps my hand steady. It would be very, very difficult to do this freehand. Kind of have to paint forward doing this. In other words, paint the stuff behind first and then do, the, do this scroll work, which is in, in the foreground. And that's what I mean by painting forward. I paint the stuff in the background first. All of my paintings, particularly if they have a landscape in them, I will paint forward. I'll do the landscape first. The sky is the very beginning, then the landscape, and then just paint, keep painting forward.
That way you can paint layers over layers. You can paint the, like this, the horizon of the ocean over the sky. And then I get that distant part of the ocean in, then I can paint the, the bluffs in and the rocks over the, back, the ocean in the background. My purple here, I missed a little spot here I want to make a correction on. A little too wide. And a little wide here. Again, I've got that wet paint in the background that I can just pull. that a little bit smaller. Want this to be a little bit darker. comes down on the outside, it actually connects up to the side of the, that bottom part of the chair. Now I take a little bit of ultramarine blue plus white and I just put a little catch light along the top of this arm. The light catches it, and then also this arm over there. And a little bit right here where this top edge of the back of the chair turns. And there's our chairs. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, Visit my blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others I do. The address is at the very end of my video. And I just appreciate you following along. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're an artist, happy painting. Also, please feel free to ask questions. I'm always happy to answer them. So you have a great day.